Boys and girls, when you sit down, remember that today our goal is to do like these kids did. They were your age, they did it, you can do it. What they did was they drew an oval to represent the shape of a face. They eventually did an eye, but I do not want you to do an eye. Today we are only doing the oval, the ears, and the hair. We're gonna color in your face, and hopefully we're gonna start coming up with words that we use to describe you and that you use to describe you. That's what's interesting about this self-portrait. There's one eye because it's the eye that you see yourself with and the eye that other people see you with. So your mom might say you are a daughter, whereas you might say I am a sister. That's all you. So we're not gonna go there right yet. Let's first start off with the thing that is gonna be the scariest, which is to start to think about drawing your face. So when you get your piece of paper, this is a beautiful, very expensive piece of watercolor paper just for you, and I want for you to draw an oval. If the first time you draw the oval and you absolutely hate it, that's fine. You can flip your paper over and use the other side, but you have to use one of them. But remember, if you draw one that you don't like, you can always draw it bigger. It's no big deal. That's why we always draw lightly with pencil. The next thing you're gonna have to do is draw your hair. Now people get a little sensitive about their hair, and before we even begin with hair, we have to kinda know where your ears are. Well, we just learned by looking at all those faces that in a human face, the eyes are pretty much in the center of the oval. And with that, so are the ears. If you put your finger on your eyeballs right now and then trace it back to your ears, you're gonna find that you're kinda near the middle if not the top of your ears. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw some ears over here because we all have them. And some of you have hairdos that cover your ears and some of you don't. Now, let's start with my girls here because they're usually the most uptight about their hair. If you look up here, girls, where it says front, you're gonna see that this is how you would look if your hair was pulled back or if your hair was short like mine. Most of you have it pulled back or you have it parted or you have short bangs or it's parted in the middle or long parted in the middle. You're gonna find the one that you think looks most like you. Now, if your hair is pulled back and you say, ugh, I don't like how that looks, well, of course not, but you haven't added the rest of your hair yet, so don't panic. I know for myself that I think my hair kinda of looks a little bit like this, that it's on the side and I have some short stuff going here. So right here, I can see my oval. Because I have hair coming down into my face, I'm gonna draw some hair going like this, kinda of jagged and down here. Now I can even feel right now that I have some hair in front of my ear, but I can also feel that my ears are not covered. Some of you are gonna feel that your ears are covered, and you may even need a friend to help you a little bit. Now is this gonna look exactly like me? No. Is it supposed to? No, there's no way. Like what am I, Leonardo da Vinci? It's not gonna look exactly like you. Don't be ridiculous. Now, after you have figured out what the front of your hair looks like, you can start to figure out what you're gonna make the back of your hair look like. And that's where you can look at some of these other ideas on our papers. We've given you four million gazillion ideas for you to figure out if you wanna have a bow in your hair, if you wanna have, oh, where is that sheet? Let me find it. If you wanna have a bow, if you wanna have a bun, if you wanna have a side ponytail, blah, 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 you're gonna add it on. For myself, sorry, I don't have a bow. Sorry, I don't have long hair. My hair kinda goes like this. It goes above my oval and under. My hair is not wet, so I have a little bit of a bounce there on the top. I am done. I'm not doing a neck, I'm not doing an eyeball, nothing. Today is what? Oval ears and hair, done. Now that I have that finished, I'm gonna start to outline it. Now you boys, just in case you're like, what about us? Are you kidding me? I got more ideas for you boys. And you're just gonna first ask someone, which one do you think looks like me? Or you're gonna have to think to yourself, which one looks the most like me? You're gonna put your, your hair, how it looks like 
above your eyes, kind of to the bottom part of the oval, and then the part above. Now, let's talk about this. This is a black marker. I am now going to outline the edges. I am not adding an eyeball. Why? 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 Oh, that's right, Mrs. Heat Jerks. You said this is not eyeball week. Oh, that's right. I did say that. Exactly. You are not going to add an eyeball. And I'm going to go here. Some of you might say, can I have earrings? Sure. You can have earrings if you want to. So I'm going to give myself some little earrings. Can I have eyelashes? No! It's not eyeball week. Good grief. How many times do I need to say it? Now, boys and girls, whether you have blonde hair, red hair, brown hair, whatever, for this project, everyone is coloring their hair in black. Black? What? Yeah, deal with it. Here we go. You're going to use your pen, and you're going to start to color in your hair. Now, I am loving these keyboard markers, but if your marker starts to look like it's not coloring in very black, I don't want you to use it anymore. I want you to get a new one. I want it to be black. I want all of these projects to have black, black hair and white, white watercolor. So I'm coming here, and this is where if you're feeling like it's good, but you're kind of like, I don't know, maybe it's not perfect. Maybe I should ask Miss Nicole or someone to come by and help me. Feel free. Now, if you put a bow in your hair, you may want to just not color in the bow black, but just um, outline your bow, but leave it white just so that we can still see it. I'm going to pause this a minute, and then I'll show you what we're doing next. 